guys, we're here at the Collective Berlin as we do every year. Super excited to see. We're gonna go around and check what we can find related to fixed gear riding, urban cycling and all that. So let's go. I'm here with Vapor. I've been following the Instagram for a little while, checking the progress, checking the tube build and everything. Looks amazing. Uh, let's hear a bit about the bike, uh, what you do and uh, anything we can know. Sure. So this bike, um, I make the frame. Uh, as you might have seen, it uh, uses uh, filament round tubes and 3D printer molded slugs. So each one is custom. This specific model is uh, called Spirit, like the B2 Spirit and Spirit of the Ride, hopefully. Nice. Um, yeah, it's a track frame. I think the, there's a normal version, which is about 850 grams, and a super light version, which is 715 grams, if you want a, a weight weenie build. Wow. Uh, yeah, each one is custom made for each customer, so they're very unique. And yeah, it's uh, very fun to ride, especially like a city like Berlin. Uh huh. So uh, I've seen the, the tube building process. How long has it been like uh, from the idea to first prototypes to this final build now? So it took, um, I would say around 10 years. Wow. Because uh, when the 3D printing kind of became more available, more openly wide, we started experimenting with making these things and uh, making the connections and seeing if they're strong enough. So it took uh, quite a while to develop the first frames. You see like one of the prototypes from a few years ago here. And then obviously it took like a lot of time to test them all. And yeah, only I think end of last year we started actually making our own tubes. Mm -hmm. So more control of uh, strength and stiffness. So each one can be tuned to be more light, more stiff, uh -huh. more strong, yeah, yeah. whatever. And yeah, now it's uh, let's say open to the public. So if somebody wants one, they can have one. Nice. So. Of course, you're going to see the links and the address, everything on the description. Check it out. Amazing and in person, even more incredible than on Instagram. But thank you very much and good luck. Pleasure. Thank you. here the A bar bike, the Fahrenheit, I don't know how to say the name of the model, but this is the steel uh, model, track lacrosse red, you can fit big, big tires, this looks really nice, and I think recently they even had a nice uh, discount on the website for the frame only, but take a look at this. cycling uh, they have amazing cycling shoes road shoes off-road but there's also some urban solution there's two models specifically that I've been looking online and I wanted to check it's the weekend and the Chelsea really cool looking casual cycling shoes with SPD of course uh, they actually feel very light in the hand I put this on feels very very comfortable good Reflective design, beautiful color with some pink details here as well. A bit of reflective, look very nice. Would love to see more people riding fix with this as well.
at Koala booth and we have some really cool stuff, cool bikes, single speed and a bit of electrification here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is a, an electric wheel that you can adapt to any single speed bicycle. Um, and it's all, no wires, so it all works through Bluetooth and via your phone as well, so yeah. So is there, I think I heard something about you connect safety-wise as well, some safety features if someone trying to take your bike? That's right, yeah, so it actually has a, an inbuilt alarm. So again, on your phone, uh, you get an app, and on the dashboard of your app, there is a locking mechanism. So when you press the locking mechanism, it locks the wheel, and then it stops, so the wheel will still turn, but it's very difficult to okay. turn, but it will then send an alarm to your phone, and then... And you can track it and, and, and get yeah. it off So course. when you're in the poor bar, <laughs> you're in, in a shop, it's like, hey, someone's moving right. my bike, so exactly. yeah. That's a very, very cool solution. All right, yeah, yeah. thank you right, very no much. Worries. Um, I found here this very cool brand capsule that has very nice casual cycling gear. Would like to know a little bit more about it. Yeah. yeah, hey, welcome at Capsule. My name is Thomas. We've just launched yesterday. It's the first time when we present our Capsule collection here. This is also where the word uh, Capsule came from. So our concept is that we are not dedicated only to performance stuff or to casual or lifestyle stuff, we are just in between. So as you see, our bags are very versatile um, and our hero product is this beautiful bike bag. Uh, you can use it on the handlebar, you can use it on the saddle, you can also put it on the top tube, down on the top tube, and you can just grab it on like, uh, yeah, not, not here at me, <laughs> uh, but on the mannequin uh, as, a, yeah, as a casual bag for just walk into a supermarket or somewhere else. See, see. Uh, it looks very good. You said it's the first time yeah. you just inaugurated is the launching of it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's right. capsule.cc and the web shop will go live next week. Okay. Because we've decided first to talk to the visitors here and to grab the feedback for the that products. That is amazing. And these products are made of 100% recycled materials, That's so all great. recycled contents. And our main idea is also to um, to go with this reflective scribe mm -hmm. on any product. That and is this great. This is something uh, for security, for safety when you drive in the city. Always, always. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. All right, thank you very much and good luck. Yeah, have fun here yeah, at the thank collective. You. Well, the world of 3D printing is taking over everything and we are here at Sale San Marco and we have some 3D printing saddle as well, is that right? That's right, that's correct. This, this is the Shorfi 2.0 3D. It's uh, one of the latest addiction in, on, on our collection. We launched this beauty um, a few months ago, like last July, more mm -hmm. precisely. Um, this is our best-in-class saddle, the Shorfi 2.0. Now. Further in us, we did 3D printed cover. Mm -hmm. This is a 3D printing. This is a cover completely printed in Italy, and the saddle itself is all made in Italy. We did carbon technology, the carbon DLS, the digital light synthesis of carbon. We design our own pattern, and your structure is designed by us, of course, at Sales San Marco. And we managed to adapt the 3D printed technology technology to the saddle, and now vice versa. This is a great advantage because we didn't. It didn't affect uh, negatively okay. the shape of the saddle. So mm -hmm. the shell, the, the all other components are exactly the, the ones that we have always used for Surfy 2.0. One of the most advantages of the 3D printing uh, uh, manufacturing, the 3D printing cover on saddle business, is that you, you can have differentiated cushioning zones all, al all along the platform, all along the, the area uh, of the saddle. 
so it's more stiff, mm -hmm. like under the ischial bone area where you need yeah. more support from your saddle while riding, of course. And it's softer on the lateral part, on the soft tissue parts, and on the back of the saddle. So it gives you constant and adaptive com comfort during the ride. And this saddle is meant to be used mainly on uh, performance sports cycling, but its nature, the nature of this uh, cover makes it very comfortable also on tough terrain for gravel cycling, for example, or for off-road cycling. Yeah. That is very cool. It looks amazing. It is. It looks yes. amazing. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have Thank you. Thanks. Ciao. Bye-bye. Alright guys, we're now at Musgard. You've seen uh, great support always receiving from you. Love all the products and we have some new stuff now. Yeah, so we're moving away from just doing mudguards into like a broader field of bike accessories. And uh, what we did is a harness, like a handlebar harness to put the dry bag in. Mm -hmm. And just approach the whole thing uh, like as we did the uh, mudguards, just make it simpler, lighter, better in any way possible. Absolutely. I can show you how it works if you yes, want to. Yes, I would like that. to see it. So what's the, yeah, what's new? So with harnesses, usually what you get is like a binding system for the harness to the bike, to the handlebars, and then there's a bunch of spacers, and then there's a binding system for the bag. Mm -hmm. It leaves everything a little bit flimsy. So what yeah. you want to do is just pull the whole thing against the bike, against the handlebar as tight as possible. And so we, that's, that's how we approach it. And we managed to do it all with the pull of a single strap, which you can like pull until it's really tight, lock it up, and that's it. And when you when you like oh, when when you set camp, so it's all one okay. strap. It's all one strap. Holding it, go around, around yeah. and it tightens. Yeah. And then let's say you're camping and you need the bag, and then you still want to use the bike to ride around. You can just because you know we like to roll things up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's, it, it, it's roll of those. Okay, you put it back on again? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. We are here uh, also finding out that it's not just about selling bikes. Uh, there are other people with very cool causes here. Tell me a bit. Uh, we are Rückenwind. We have a small bike workshop um, in Berlin, in Neukölln. And um, people donate us their old bikes that they don't need anymore. And we are a group of volunteers. We fix them up, we repair them, and then we give them out to refugees or other people that are in need of a bike. And it's a really fun project to, to meet cool people, repair stuff, upcycle things, and help other people out. So it's really fun. Um, yeah, we've doing, we have been doing that since 2015. Mm -hmm. We roughly do like 10 bikes a week, depending on how many volunteers are in yeah. that week. So we maybe gave out about 3,000 bikes in the last, yeah. not, last years. Yeah. That's very nice, thank you. So I'm gonna put the, the links, I guess awesome, people yeah. can also help if they want with yeah. donations, with of anything, course, yeah. Yeah, sure. find out more. So just go check, to the check. website, there is a form you can fill out to donate money or if you're in the area, feel free to come by to donate bikes or to volunteer in the shop. Perfect, all right, thank you very much.
We are at the Iavor booth. Uh, you guys have seen it on the vlogs many times. Uh, ride with Iavor backpack, love the handlebar bag. But we got some new stuff as well. Is that yeah. so? You're totally right. right. Um, for the very first time we're here on the fair and uh, now we're showing um, our new road edition. It's a performance uh, line we have uh, already. You see it over here. This is IPX water repellent, water resistant and uh, it's very uh, low weight and it's um, just over here. You can see it is in two different colorways. This is uh, the Night Rider edition and this is the proof uh, black edition. It's the blue one and you can organize here in different uh, types of ways and um, this is the reflective edition they as well reflective. they are reflective right, so nice. and starting on the price point with 50 euros going to 100 and 109 and um, yeah uh, we'll see what happened now in the market with the new bike bike packing edition nice. and uh, yeah we're really glad to be here and uh, get a really good uh, feedback by the way, it's uh, yeah. It we'll is see. a great thing of here. Always direct feedback from the people who yeah. use it, who wants to know. Yeah, they're really impressed, and of course, this is uh, uh, produced by uh, recycled PET bottles, and it's uh, the working condition are signed uh, with um, the Fairway Foundation, and so yeah, everything what is needed, calling sustainable or just responsible for the nature and resources. That's very good. It's a, it's a big point for us. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. All right. Thank All right. you very much. You're very Enjoy welcome. And good luck with Thanks the Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank okay. You. <laughs>